Now on at Dorian Gray's new East Village Gallery, the art of the 1980s is getting a second look. Though overly ambitious, the show attempts to compare the original artists with those they influenced. The task is too great for such a small show, but it does succeed in highlighting one of the 80s best qualities, authenticity. Time has given us the distance needed to consider the art of the 1980s dispassionately. Yet Nan Golden's familiar photos still generate raw emotion with their tragic comic narratives. Clayton Patterson's portraits of male bravado capture the defiant, flamboyant spirit of the era. And the photo of a young artist resigned to an early death remains a poignant reminder of all that was lost. By comparison, the contemporary shot of a young model pretending to blow her brains out feels manipulative. Was this image faked, or was it experienced? Here's social rage from the 1980s. And here, from 2008, is Wes Lang's social commentary. Though each tattooed-like drawing is understandable, fully appreciating his work requires a knowledge of academic theory. If anything, the show proves that reckless originals are a hard act to follow. Sounds in the Distance at the Dorian Gray Gallery, November 3rd through December 8th. I'm Julia Morton, and this is now on for City Arts and cityarts.info. Thank you for watching.